מיפו מיניפיי, לטס גו! This board is one of Mipo, the smallest and most affordable electric skateboard, but with the latest upgrades. With dual 500 watts motors, capable of a top speed of up to 45 km per hour and climbing hills of up to 30% degrees, this little board is more than powerful enough to have a lot of fun and become your daily commute. I know what you're thinking. 45 km per hour on a shoreboard, isn't that danger? Well, actually, I only managed to go up to 41 km per hour. Keep in mind that weight is a big influencer when it comes to ride electric skateboards and, and a pretty big dude. Even though the pushings may seem a bit too hard, I was able to maneuver through the city with ease and car with confidence. The board looks pretty cool, it kind of reminds me of the very popular Boosted Mini. There is a very gentle concave that will help with turning, carving and giving feedback for your feet. The kick tail is also very gentle, which I like, this is not a board for doing ollies, this tail is just to provide the ability to quickly change directions in crowded areas and small roads, which makes it a great city commuter. And you can also step on the kick tail to pick up the ball. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go do it now. We have 90mm wheels with 70AA durometer in the front and 83A durometer in the back, which offers very good grip and decent ride performance in bad roads. Basically the same as the bigger brother, the Meepo B5, which I reviewed in my previous video. Click somewhere in here if you haven't watched it yet. Actually, there is a lot in common with the Meepo B5. They are similar in power range, design and even price. So if you are in the fence between getting one or the other, let me quickly highlight some of the differences. The V5 is a longboard with a flexi deck which can offer better comfort over the short stiff deck of the Mini, especially for longer rides. The B5 have a handle, the Mini 5 doesn't need a handle seat, it's a shortboard, you can just hold it from the front tracks. But because the B5 is a lumbar, you can carry it around by pulling from the front tracks like you could with a luggage. Surprisingly, both these boards are the same weight, but at 7.8 kilograms, these are considered pretty light. The B5 have nose and tail guards, the Mini 5 have tracks racers and wheel flares for better turning while avoiding wheel bites. The B5 have an ESC and battery compartment, while the Mini 5 have both in a single compartment. But they both have the LED indicator, which can be very useful to check your battery levels without having to turn on your board and check on the remote. Talking about the remote, they both have the same remote, which is the smallest, lightest, and probably cheapest remote I review on this channel. Basically, a downgrade from its previous remote that came with an LCD screen. Even so, you can access all settings like changing the brake and power level, you can see your speed or distance. This is a Link E remote, so it's paired with a Link E ESC. ESC stands for Electronic Speed Controller, and I'm very happy to report that this is very smooth for acceleration and braking. There is also motor detection, which is very convenient. The battery is the same at 144 watts hours. 10s 2p configuration, which means you'll get about the same range. I'm almost 200 pounds and I can just get 10 kilometers, which is okay for most commutes in a day, but if you feel that's not enough, you can get the extended version with twice the juice. The other thing these two boards have in common is the design. It looks very similar, of course, one being longer and one being shorter. If you're still doubting if you should get one over the other, let me put it this way. First, you need to ask yourself, where are you going to ride it? If the roads are in bad shape in the area where you live, then go with the B5. If you are in a big city and you're planning to commute maybe on your university campus, well, then maybe get the Mini 5, it's gonna be more convenient. I think it's hard to go wrong with either of these boards, they offer a lot of value for the price, and Mipo is a well-established ESK company that's been around forever. 
Either you're buying the B5 or the Mini 5 or any other Meepo board, please make sure to use the affiliate links on the description down below. It won't cost you anything and you'll be helping growing this channel. All right, guys, that's it for me. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios, amigos.